thank God that this energy carries this much of a weight and the attitude because that's what's saved me is that I choose what I want to think about. So I choose the environment that my brain lives in. And sometimes that's more difficult than other times. I mean, I've been through some stuff this year, yeah. you know, which I really had to dig deep. And, and I also had to, it, sometimes you think that you choose things externally that make you happy or that keep your mood in a certain place. And for example, like when my house burned down, okay, my external choices that was my sanctuary. Yeah. So that's somewhere that my brain went to be happy and peaceful and rest and relax. So here's my choice. I can be upset about that or I can choose to say, okay, God, what am I supposed to learn from this? Not a fun place to be, but what is this showing me? Where's the gift in this situation? So for me, I had to look and say, okay, these external things, that I used to use to be happy, including my business. Like I love my people that I have the greatest people in the world that work for me. I have the greatest business. I have the greatest customers. And I love that. But when it shut down uh, because of COVID, I'm like, okay, like who am I now? Right. You know, then my house burns down. I'm like, okay, where do I go now to do? And what that's really shown me, and we've talked a little bit about this, is that that it's your the your attitude, your joy, all of that stuff is internal. Mm. And so for me, everything that made me happy externally kind of is gone. So I could be depressed, which it, I got plenty depressed and you know, I still have to work with that cuz that wasn't sure. easy any of those things. So I don't want to make it seem like, oh, I just you know, put on a smiley face, right? Because it, it wasn't. Forget it, about it. It takes no, a lot of work. Real. Takes a lot of work, yeah. and so you have to choose where you're going to focus and choose. My whole life, I've looked at things like, "Where's the gift in this?" Mm -hmm. So I'm like, "Okay, God, I know you don't do things that are bad for me, so there must be something good in here that I need to find out. And what is it? And what it's what it is is that the the attitude comes from inside." You know, you got to choose what makes you joyful. Choose what makes you feel good. You have to have an arsenal of the things that make you feel good ready. So if you have to write that down, if you have to record it, if you have to remind yourself on your phone, there's all kinds of things you can do to keep yourself in right. that space. But it, it's a choice. So you have to be very conscious of what you're focusing on and of on creating your attitude. So back to like the epigenetics, it's kind of like creating the swimming pool that your genes are swimming in. And mine used to be impacted by things outside. I mean, I created a great life. I, I felt like the most blessed person in the world, but that was external. And so now in at this point in my life, I have to go internal and say, okay, if everything else is gone, what do I have left? You know, right. me, my energy, my attitude, your faith, my spiritual relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So what are the things that that really are life giving? And so for me, I'm, I have to make a conscious choice. What feels life giving to me right now right. internally? And what's really interesting is then when you shift that energy internally, then it shows up externally. So then right. things come to you, people call you up out of the blue. I mean, it's crazy yeah. what happens.